well, clearly history is repeating itself here and that's because um, the services in Sean's mum's life didn't intervene effectively. They didn't recognise that what was going on in Sean's mum's life were effectively, uh, you know, aces which were then going to tip into the next generation and we can see that happening here. So um, had we had um, health, social services, police services, housing services, um, education services all working more effectively together, um, we may not uh, be seeing a situation where 17-year-old uh, Sean is getting into exactly the same loop. But what we do need to recognise is that 17-year-old uh, Sean um, is uh, now at an age uh, where she may be having children uh, herself. And so when she is having children herself, we need to be stopping uh, this cycle of adverse childhood experiences uh, happening there. So we need to be asking Sean, uh, what was your life like as a child? Um, identifying whether there were aces in her own child, childhood and whether that is something that could pass, possibly pass on to her own children. I think there's also some questions here um, in terms of, you know, 17 year old Sean with 30 year old uh, Tom. Uh, what education has Sean had about what a healthy relationship looks like? Um, clearly, it's not a healthy relationship going on here, but were our schools geared up for that, did anyone talk to Sean in childhood or any of her peers about what a healthy relationship looks like? Because if we don't do that, this is normal to Sean. This is what Sean experienced in childhood. So going into exactly the same scenario is probably what she would come to expect. Our role is public, in public services is to break that cycle, to talk about what healthy relationships are like, to make sure all of our services are, are joined up um, and to uh, stop the cycle moving on to yet another generation by identifying what's gone on in Sean's life and how that might impact on her becoming a mum.